Science Gallery London's second pre-opening season is called Fed Up, Future of Food. Uh, we're now in the second phase of it, so we already did a thing called House of Ferment that was in Borough Market in South London, which engaged with the art crowd and the art of fermentation. We're now doing a week of events that includes a wall of oyster mushrooms on the guys' campus that may or may not be taking pollution out of the atmosphere. We've got a load of King's undergraduates eating insects in different forms on the King's Strand campus. And we've also got an actual experiment taking place about people's attitudes to protein. Do I definitely think that the future in food is very much about educating people. We need to learn again and forget what we learned up to now. We're trying to make um, science more understandable and more approachable. For something that everyone does, which is basically eat, it's amazing how ignorant we are about food. Uh, I had a dried bee. Dried mealworm, dried cricket. Dried shrimp. We, we're in, here in the home of the Science Gallery, we're here in the home of King's College London. So comparing insects to, to cultured meat, uh, like I said, they're both a, a bit of an alien concept. Um, the one thing is, cultured meat has never been alive. Uh, insects have been alive. So again, it's that kind of whole looking at the ethics behind it, uh, behind what we're doing, not only grow meat in the lab, but make people more conscious about where they're sourcing their food from. Science Gallery is a space where art and science collide, and it's a place where young people can develop their own views of stuff, see their own place in that future, and see how science and art working together can address issues of taste, neurobiology, and sustainability. Next year, we'll be talking about hospital food, because the McDonald's on the guys' campus is closing. And really what we're trying to do is to engage with a range of audiences in a range of venues, with professional artists, established and new ones, to engage with the future of food and how that affects young people today.